Testing, one, two. Test, test, test. Testing, one, two.
Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sterling High School, North Shields Activity Center. I am Brian Richter, and uh, we are just about two and a half minutes left before we do the opening starting lineups tonight. We are uh, Sterling versus Lacrosse, and uh, the Leopards come in two and four tonight. Losses to Ellenwood to begin the season. Hoxie and Oakley picked up their first win in December, uh, the middle of December against Northern Valley, 40 to 32. Lost to Dighton, 43 to 28, and then picked up a win, 36 to 35, just as the as the uh, Christmas break began. Defeated Otis Bison. Sterling comes in six and zero, uh, and 72 and nine for these seniors over the course of their high school career with three state tournament entries. They give up 38 points a game, average 61 points a game, uh, come off a really nice victory over Cheney at Cheney there right before Christmas on December 16th where they picked up the victory 61 to 50 over a tough Cheney team. They defeated Inman and Haven and Kingman and Valley Center the three Valley Center Kingman at Haven to win the Kingman Eagle Classic. And defeated Hillsboro, which is ranked in the top 10 in 2A, 51 to 32 to start the season. Turn it over to the public announcement, or public announcer, the PA, Randy Henry. Now those are your starting lineups <coughs> tonight. If you're watching from Sterling, Lori Dirksen is uh, on the sideline. She's an assistant for Jamie Castaneda for lacrosse. It's going to be a busy three weeks here as the Lady Black Bears take on the Lincoln Leopards tonight, or the Lacrosse Leopards tonight, and then we'll host the Bennington Bulldogs on Friday, and then we'll travel to Central Plains and Berean Academy next Tuesday and Friday before hosting the Sterling Girls Invitational Tournament. Sterling will turn it over on their first first possession. Riley Richter with the rebound. She'll push ahead to Lacey Farney off the miss of Brooke Herman. Callie Breyer from three. That'll be off the back iron. No good. Benny Horsch will come up with it. She's surrounded by four Leopards. Riley Richter shoots an air ball. 7-16 left in the first quarter. Yeah. 
Brooke Herman able to get it up. She'll be fouled by Riley Richter. No, she won't. She'll be grabbed by Benny Horsch. <coughs> 7.08 left. Herman, 5'9", senior. Last year, the uh, Black Bears and Leopards didn't get together. They were scheduled to play this game at lacrosse last year, but I believe, I'm guessing COVID, I can't remember, got in the way of that. And so Sterling will uh, end up playing as Riley Richter will turn it over again. And Sterling would pick up the boys picked up Garden Plain. I can't remember who the girls picked up. Allie Seltman will miss it. Callie from 12. Back iron, no good. Benny battles for it. Lacey comes up with it. Benny gets it to go. Assist. Farney. Bucket. Horsch. Allie Seltman can't get it to go. Herman. That'll be a foul on Lacey Farney. Sterling quickly racking up the fouls. Three, three to zero. 608 left in the first quarter. Seltman nearly gets it. Riley Richter will battle, and that will be out on the Leopards. Well, you've waited for two months to see the shark and he finally showed up two minutes late into the game this just game like, started early no just like all the talent always does they show up late as Benny Horsch misses she'll follow be fouled and so the shark shows up late just like the talent does you are truly a prima donna I didn't even get to introduce you you're just you're just a prima donna why are you I was on so schedule but we had a snafu to the plan yeah I believe that Namely, our parking lot at my reserve spot. It, Someone's in it. It was not uh, available, is that what you're saying? I had to drive all the way around the front. Well, you know, if you would arrive earlier, that would, uh, that would help you. Callie with a nice rebound. We're going to have to get a shark sign to put out there in front of one of those stalls. <laughs> or just arrive earlier. Lacey with a nice assist to Benny. Lacey with two quick... Two quick assists. Benny with the steal. Benny gets bumped from behind, but no, she'll reach over Herman. Callie from three, no good. Lacey hustles for the rebound, and that'll go out on Lacey. Farney's 5-12 left. That's the first time you've even seen the Black Bears. This first time. Turn yourself up in my ears a little bit, would you? How's that? That's a lot better for both of us, actually. Well, lacrosse doesn't have much size, do they? No, they don't. Herman drives middle on Benny, and she'll travel. <clears throat> Five minutes left. What is it, free shirt night? Free shirt night. Look what at makes Bressler. you say that? He's over there handing shirts out to everybody. Well, it must those, be free shirt night. First might, 100 in here got a free shirt. You didn't get yours because you were not the first 100. That's what we're going to have to have is some promos for the fan base. Well, right now there are 24, so that's good. 24 fans? 24 viewers. That'll be an offensive foul on Taylor Mar Marvin, the senior with a push off with a right arm, fouled Lacey Farney. What are we doing, a pl two platoon system? Is this the way we've been playing all year? No. No? End of the game is Sadie Beagley and uh, 
McKenna Linden, Kate Rowland, and Lily Gray. Staying will be Callie Breyer. 434 left. Hey, Lily. Go, Lily. Lily Padner stats missing and then getting the rebound. Now, you haven't seen the Black Bear ladies play yet. I saw them on video a couple times, I think. Because you've been. Nice pass. You've been too busy as McKenna nice finish. will convert that. Nine to one, Sterling, four minutes. So that your fan base. And those of you lacrosse, welcome to uh, Is there anybody Sterling. from lacrosse? Welcome? I don't know that yet. I haven't pulled up my map, but um, just a warning. What's your warning or what's your advice? Yeah. You can always mute it. <laughs> yeah, you can always turn the sound down. <laughs> we are what we are. We're an acquired taste. Um, but why haven't you been around? Where have you I've been? I've had conflicts for? all the time. I just, you know. I've just been carrying this thing on my back since football, and I it's just bad it's, about it. You too. do not. Yes, I've been hardly. This is the great adventure. Is we that get, your new camera? We get new technology, but. Same dumb people running it. Yes, and you can't. Um, wires are wires, and so it'll come up. Sterling up 14 to 6. <clears throat> well, they hit a three pointer while I missed, we were away. I missed that. Yeah. Now we just threw it to them. Kate will turn it over. Get the block get back. there somehow. She blocked Avery Parrott. Oh, that's a nice screen there. Good board. Stolen by Herman. Herman pushes ahead. Alexa Ryersey is stuck in the corner down there in the short corner. Ryersey? Now spell that thing. Ryerse. R Y E R S E E. There she is for three. No good. McKenna will pick it up. 132 left. McKenna steps through both and will score that. Nice take. Wow, how'd she get that thing in there? By Avery Parrott as she drives baseline and gets it up right up over the rim. McKenna throws it up and it'll go in. Nice. Pretty athletic. Herman, nice move, gets around Lily Gray. Lily with her first foul. Are we back on the air now? Yeah. <laughs> Benny Horsch and Lacey Farney will check in. Herman knocks that down. Sterling up by eight now under a minute left. 
I thought we were going to be up way more than that the way it was going. The ref said no. You see that shaking his head no? Yes, I did. crowd said double dribble. He said Mr. no. Mr. Goodhart. What a tough shot there, Benny. Benny gets maybe into the face of Avery Prophet as she turned to her left there and hit her with her right shoulder. I'm not sure this could be more dead of an environment. I would you agree. You can hear a cricket in here. Yeah, I, Chirp. Yeah, it is. There's, there's not much. Uh, Chirp. Benny bounces it all over. You know, Eric, were you tired at school today? About 1.30? Uh, 3, 3.25. I, That's when you finally me. got tired? Yeah, it at 1.30, hit me, man. man it's, woo. I had to be inspirational despite myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm sure the shark was. 25 seconds left. Lacey will turn, the, turn him over, That's force fast. it ahead. Kenna Drives will be fouled by Ryersey. <clears throat> so your fans want to know what you've been doing. They, they've they been missing you, you know, you've been asking. Mm. I can't really tell you what happened on every single one of the games, but I've had something every time we had a game. Well, you've had life. Yeah, I mean, we've had those two weddings, but I don't think those were the only two factors of me not coming to any games. There's well, other you, stuff too. You had wedding was the primary one. Yeah. And then. Well. That was why you didn't the, go with me to the Cheney. rehearsal dinner was on the game night on Friday. Uh, the boys, so. but you didn't go with me to Cheney. On it was on a Thursday night. Yeah, you, I think I just felt like I needed to be home. Yeah, you help were. And get ready. Yeah, you. Uh, you did the right thing, and your wife. Didn't tell you to, but no, that was a said, wise choice. She said go do the game. It was a wise choice. I did it without you, and um, we uh, we managed without you. We're just surrounded by weird kids everywhere. Do you notice that? Is it we're surrounded by weird kids or maybe we're weird? I don't know. They're all giving me the look. Yeah, what would you do? I did nothing except sit here and. That's they all just it. Look at me. That's all it takes sometimes. <laughs> hey, there's your mother-in-law over there. Yeah, she made it down. That's a long little drive for her by herself. Iron 15, not bad from Wichita. Well, I wish I had some exciting something to tell you, other than the Black Bears are 72 and nine. These seniors are in their high school career. We lost nine games with these girls. Yep. Five in their first, their freshman year. Okay, well, or maybe six. We got some in there to Hugoton, I remember. <coughs> yes, have lost two to Hugoton. Lost to Garden Plain twice in there. Yeah, they were pretty good, Garden Plain, those times we lost to them. Not a bad career. No, lost once last year to Hugoton. Mm -hmm. Is that our only loss last year? Yeah. So this. Are they back in our tournament, Hugoton? Yep, they are. How are they doing? Are they good? Really well. They're number. They've lost one game, but that was to Olathe West in the Hayes City shootout. Yeah. Was it close? No. And Lacey Farney will finish that. That was a beautiful left-handed layup by Lacey. Is she left-handed? No. That looked too good to be natural. Guess you do it over and over enough. That was beautiful. You get to make them. Herman from moving. the baseline. She's moving pretty fast, too. Go out McKenna Linden. You know what I'm enjoying right now? This coffee. I can smell it. Would you want to taste it? But you're going to stay up all night because you're drinking oh, it's it. it's decaf. Oh. Now only drink decaf. McKenna grabs the Marvin rebound and will be fouled. By Showalter Elizabeth. Some of my parking spots are being taken up by these refs, I've noticed. You think just the rest? Well, I assume they're they're like Stafford County and stuff you know, like that. If you would show up earlier, that's the key. But you know, you kind of like to make an entrance. Nice pass, good finish, Caitlin. Assist, Lyndon Bucket, Caitlin Cornelius.
That's a long old arm up there. Another turnover. Who's this guy down here with the headset on? Is that a radio or is that another internet? No, that's a, well, I, th I believe it's radio. From I across? I can't tell you that for sure. Are we the game of the week? <laughs> they probably have a game every week. I wouldn't think lacrosse would have a radio station, would you? Maybe out of Hayes. Great Bend. <clears throat> Something was weird about that. That was either a foul or a travel, I think. Unless she got an assist out of it. How's that? Did she pass it? Yeah. Did she Kate, pass it to? Caitlin. I thought Cornelius. she shot it. No. Oh, nice pass, girl. Black Bear defense falls asleep. As Beautiful pass by that girl. Benny Who needs up. defense when you can just jack these things up? Oh, that's a bad shot. When you could trade three for two, you might as well go down and shoot it, but she missed. So the philosophy went down the tank. That <laughs> if you watch uh, Wichita State, they shoot uh, a lot of threes. I haven't yeah, seen them play either. They make, they make none. I have not seen much basketball this year, to be honest, or even football. Oh, well, Lacey, did she hurt her ankle? Nope. They're getting open shots, I'll say that. They're just not going down as McKaylee Day misses. She had the bucket earlier. Sterling turns it over again, 548. Maybe they need one of them shot machines that shoots the ball back to you. Well, they may have one. Mm -hmm. Riley Richter checks in for Lacey Farney. <clears throat> Riley with the steal. She wisely pulls up. Rebound day. Marvin pushes. Man, they're getting a lot of open shots. Did you say shots. Marvin Day? <laughs> Mar no. Well, it was from Taylor Marvin. I think Marvin. that's what you just said. Mar it was from Taylor Marvin to McKaylee Day. How's that? Which ended up being Marvin Day, and that means you're going to break out in a song. Not going to do it. Please. Mainly because I can't think of one. I know you can't. I if can't I could think one, I'd be doing yes, it. Yes, I, I realize that. Sadie Bigley with the tip to Callie for the rebound. Kate will pull up. Nice catch I'm by. I'm impressed with Lily's hands early Lily. on in this thing. I haven't seen left. Lily play since junior high. You have not. She's yeah. really improved a lot. Yeah. Of course, she really she didn't get to play last year at all as an eighth grader. True. She's just a great kid. Just a freshman. Yeah. I, I haven't had the luxury of having her in class. She's awesome. It'll take it'll take a while to get to that. Nice pass from Beautiful Sadie. Beautiful there. Some form of a high-low there. Sadie Bigley with the assist. Rebound Sadie. Callie will push. Look up. And that will be a foul on Alexa Ryersey. It'll be the seventh team foul. <clears throat> Chirp. Kate knocks it down over the cricket. It's a little louder in here than it was when I first showed up. A little bit. Not much. Mainly people talking about this life. Not much. Ba not cheering for basketball or anything. Visiting over the. It's like yeah. a pro environment, isn't it? Yeah. You ever been to a pro basketball game? Long. Doesn't really get going until after half. Right. All the people with the season tickets, they don't show up for the first quarter. Or they're out eating. Well, that's maybe why they're not showing up. They get free food with it. Exactly. That's probably there to be seen. Is what that is. 
Well, now let's not put a Richter evaluation on it. You don't think if you had those courtside seats, you would put a, you wouldn't want to go be seen? I don't think they have all of them courtside. They're in these booths. That's a good point, too, yeah. Where all the food's at. Well, I was up at K-State on Saturday, or Sunday, I guess it was, and saw their booths up there. Anybody get in them? No. Well, there was actually one up there. They're those, watching the Chiefs game. Those booths are made up later. Yes. And they're not real booths. They're not quite like the no, they're, they're luxury suites. They're not luxury suites. There are a couple roll chairs stuck on the back of a, <laughs> yes. of a railing. With a small TV monitor, a computer monitor, so um, people can watch the games. Four minutes left. What do you think of my new shirt I got home? Didn't I notice. This up. You never noticed this? Did you get that for Christmas? I got it for myself before Christmas, then I gave it to myself. I, I guarantee you gave it to yourself since the Comleys don't do Christmas. We do do Christmas. You do not do, do it. We do it different than everybody <laughs> else. <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> <clears throat> My Hallmark movie's still on the wait until your daughter can start writing it. A Comley Christmas, Hallmark. Now, all the Christmases that... Look at Lily just getting everything and putting it in. Faith Eckert in the game. Faith with nice, the Faith. rebound. Well, nearly the rebound. That wasn't so swift. She wasn't sure what she wanted to do. This is a monumental day for me, actually. Why? I went to a public office to get something like a driver's license or something. I was applying for my passport. Oh, yes, that's and right. I actually had everything I needed. I can't believe I that. I got it through on the first time. I was so excited about that. That's a monumental thing for that me. That is a, not a calmly esque thing. While Clark was reminding us about the passport, Taylor Marvin hit a three. Faith comes out of nowhere and knocks that down. 241 left. Why did you need a passport? That's the question. In case I want to go somewhere. Where are you going? Wherever my you wife says. You don't leave central Kansas. You might go to Kansas City, but that's as far as you get out of here. Now that I'm you eating don't older, leave the greater I'm Sterling area. Go far some places now. Nice pass by from McKenna to Riley Richter, who can't finish. handle it, and she'll travel. It was a good finish. Just took one extra small step. Her legs looking pretty good. She's not limping around or anything. No, she's not. How much that brace cost you back? Uh, pretty <laughs> good. Pretty good penny. <laughs> they don't give those braces out. No, free. they did not give that one away. The one they give away is like a piece of paper. Another turnover. Sterling will turn it over again. Well, you could say this is an after practice or after Christmas game. A lot of, a lot of different people in the lineup. Yeah. She's got a long stretch of games here in the next week. How many we got this week? Two this week, then two next week with Central Plains and uh, Buran Academy both How's on the road. Central, are they good? Yeah. They beat Phillipsburg, who ended their long winning streak last year, and then they went on to win, lose to Sterling, and then never lost again and won the state tournament again. I think Phillipsburg the seventh did? Or row, no, Sterling, or uh, Claflin, Central Plains did, sorry. They won state last year? Yeah. Think they ever get tired of winning state? I don't think so. I wonder if their fans just kind of get used to it. It's I think no they're very used to it. <laughs> I think it's just no big deal after a while. I'm sure it's not, but I think if we, if we, if they didn't, they would not be really very happy about it. So we'll be over there next week. How 
I've already seen something from Central Plains this year. It must have been Kyler's junior high film because I've seen their gym already on film. Whose film? I've seen Central Plains gym. I think it was a film Kyler had in junior high. Oh, yeah. Well, you, yeah. you um, he played over there. Ellenwood junior high played over at Central Plains like the first game, if I remember right. Kate battles for the rebound. Can't get it, and that'll stay with Sterling. 127 left. <clears throat> Kate from three. And oh, that was nice. Beautiful. Riley Richter with the rebound. Should push ahead to Lacey. Lacey drives, throws it up, will be sure fouled. sure she's not left-handed? She is not. Let's see what she shoots this free throw with. Lacey, or Elizabeth Showalter, with her second foul, 19 foul on the, on the Leopards. Yep, she shot it with the right. Did you notice that the, we were playing the Hillsborough Trojans tonight? On the cover of the, <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> on the cover of the. <laughs> That's a Clark move right there. That's the way my program's over. You're going to have to say something to McKenzie about that tomorrow. She forgot that part as Lacey knocks that down. That's something you and I both would do. I do it on a daily basis. 56 seconds left now. Benny will pick up another foul. B or actually, her Benny. first foul. B -b 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 you missed a good Benny. game down at Cheney. I watched it. But we won it. We kind of pulled away at the end, right? Yeah, well, we really kind of we extended it right at the end of the first half and then just never let it go the second half and kind of stretched it out a little bit. I thought it was within striking distance all the way to the, like, it the was, last three, but not, three minutes or something. It was never that close. I mean, it felt like it, but they never could close it. Faith with the rebound. 45 seconds left. Riley will turn it over again. Actually, won't give her a turnover there. Lily oh. with a nice move. Oh, oh. Lily. If you haven't seen the K-State women play, they've got a – she was the Naismith Player of the Week this week. For the nation? Yeah, the whole nation. The 6'5 girl? 6'6", six, six, yeah, 6'5". Six, and she uh, – Riley Richter. Oh, I thought she stroked that one. No good. Nice hustle by Faith. Faith picks it up, and Lacey grabs it, throws a little low to Lily. And the Black Bears all want to reach. So that'll be a double dribble with nine seconds left. Um, she had, she had I think, 29 points in the second half the other night. She had nine, all 19, Can maybe all 19 it? of the. Can take it? I, yeah, she gets it all in, you know, five feet from okay, the basket. Okay, all pretty tight in there. They're playing Baylor, and Baylor had length, and she just dominated. I didn't think you thought she was that good. Well, she's good. I just thought playing against a bigger person, but she's better against bigger people than when they play short people that surround her. And uh, So she's legit. She's legit. But she, she, they had, him, had her last year. She's just improved. She was really good last year, but they're better as a team this year. Mm. And uh, she, was, she was legitimate. Wasn't anybody there to see it, but it was uh, – It was a nice game. I understand that K-State men are down to six and a coach, I think. COVID? Because of COVID, I guess. I don't know if that's that. Well, that was this afternoon. Don't you afternoon. have to have eight to, to start the game? I don't know what the – I think it's seven and a healthy one, six and a healthy one, but they played this afternoon against Texas so because you're you're missing the bowl game. You'll get home for the second half. Yeah, it starts at eight. Oh, it does? Oh, you'll get home for the second half then. I don't have much interest in that. Yes, you do. No, You'll I watch don't. it when no, you get I, Well, I probably will watch it because it's football.
did you watch the national championship or the whatever the pre the playoff games? Yes, very terrible. Yeah, I watched Bad the first games, quarter both of, of both. Not even that much, I don't think. So should they expand it then? That's the question. I don't think so. Well, I guess they need to maybe penalize Alabama and Georgia. Why? Take away scholarship, I don't know. <laughs> they win it all every year. Everybody else just gotta get better. People are bored. People are not bored. I bet the ratings are terrible high for the national championship game. Yeah, for that game it will be, but for these two, I wonder. Well, they came bad games. I guarantee everybody would have watching Michigan and Lew and uh, Cincinnati wonder if they're a good game. That's my point. They're, they can't do give them good games. There's only two teams right now. It's every year. It's not only the same two teams. Alabama's been a power. Yeah, Alabama, Clemson, and. You ever remember? You ever remember UCLA in basketball? Yes. The same sort of deal. Well, I love watching UCLA. Yeah. When I was a kid. Notre Dame I beat did him too. Once. Yeah, I, I watched that game. I don't know why game. I was so fired up about Notre Dame, yep. but I sure was. It's just because you're rooting for the underdog. I yes, because they – Who was the main games. player for Notre Dame that day? Adrian uh, Dantley? I don't know if Adrian Dantley, John, no, that's John the, Shoemate. Adrian Dantley is the name that yeah. comes to mind, but, but hey, somebody should text us in who that was and that, that beat UCLA. John was Shoemate was no, the – Yes, it was. I never heard of John Shoemate. He, well, he was one of the ones. Digger Phelps leading the charge. <laughs> Digger Phelps was coaching him? He was coaching him. What year was that? The 70s? 1974, like 78? I believe. 1974, I think. 88 game win streak. Who was the main play, the, the star player for Notre Dame when they broke the winning streak of UCLA? That's our question of the girls game. You need to text Clark at 620-204-0077. Yes, he is the James Bond of Sterling High School. That's 620-204-0077. Who was the star of the Notre Dame team that beat UCLA to break their 88-game winning streak? Are you sure about the year? I think we, it's We need the year, too. You think 74? I think 74. I was only a little dude back then. Yeah, I was born in 64. I was 10 years old. I'd be about right. I was eight, so... Yeah. The cross got some big boys. Yeah, they always generally. Were they have good some, in football? I'll be honest. That kid looks like a football player right there. I I don't know how they did. I'll, once you get down to eight man, they finally did go to eight man after a lot of years playing eleven when. They very Not only easily, playing 11, beating the crud out of everybody. Yeah, when they very easily could have been playing eight man, but I think the numbers finally got to that point. I would doubt it. I bet their numbers are still high. They just didn't probably have a class without an athlete for a couple years there, you know. It happens. It does happen. Nobody has athletes year after year after year. Unless they move in somehow. Yeah, I mean, some – some of your major high schools in the city, they just switch schools and go to their, wherever they want, I think. But out in the rural, you're kind of get what you get. You do it all the time with your choir program. You poach schools from all over this central Kansas area with your no, choirs. Never poach Bringing them in from student. Fairfield and I Nickerson, Lyons, probably even Ellenwood, you have brought them in. And your son's going to put a stop to that. <laughs> It's only 35 man drive. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you brought in you brought in ringers over the years. It's not like I recruit them. I would agree with that. They just show up. They show up. The man, the myth, the legend. They just want to be here. Had a decent uh, choir audience for your for your Christmas concert. I was happy with it. Had a decent uh, online. Viewership. Your mom, though, she was there, so I, my my yeah, main she, supporter. Well, yes, yeah, she was there. She was there, but she's How home tonight. How many people watched it? Ten? Twenty-four, I think, live That's viewers. That's pretty good. Live viewers, 24. Right now we're at 37. Well, no one's chiming in on the UCLA questions. And no, no one must be watching. You could look it up, but. Maybe my microphone's not working. Oh, it's working.
You know, and I missed the Chiefs game the other day, so I kind of missed some of the controversy, so I don't know really what happened at the end of the game. Yeah, no controversy. A few calls, you know, happens. But I didn't understand how the the Bengals had eight plays inside, like, the two-yard line in the last two well, and a half we got minutes. a pass interference penalty holding or something, so that which was gave one. you automatic first down. Okay. That was on fourth down. So they went for it on fourth they went down. went for fourth down, pass. and we got a penalty, and they gave them all a new set of downs. Was the game tied at that point? No. Uh, was it tied? Must have been because they won it. On their field goal, right? Yeah, it must have been tied. Well, I was kind of looking forward to that game. You know, the head coach of the Bengals is, he played uh, quarterback at Butler County. I did not know that. What's his name? Um, Zach Taylor. And then he went and. Quarterback at Nebraska for two years. Did he get a play? Yeah, he was a starter at Nebraska under Bill Callahan, the only year they really did anything. Okay. And uh, then he's married to Mike Sherman, who was the. Uh, he's married to Mike. I'm sorry, Sherman. Mike Sherman's daughter. And Mike Sherman used to be the head coach of Green Bay, but was at Texas A&M after right. he graduated, right. and so he moved into there and helped coach there, and then moved to the Dolphins, and uh, he might have been the offensive coordinator. Or he was a helper there. Then moved out to Los Angeles with the with the Rams, and uh, the Bengals hired him. Oh my him. gosh, Zeke is killing the tube line. I agree. Well, he was. Go Zeke. Hey, there's some noise in the gym. Yeah, a little bit. Kind of puny. Where's the junior high in this thing? They're over there. They're over there clapping. I can't get their attention. There goes your lovely wife. Yeah, she's pretty good about. That was terrible. We're going to have to have a cheer practice. We do need a cheer practice. Finally, somebody chimed in. Oh, 1974, at least we got that much. 1974. Oh, here's my brother, Adrian Dantley. Now, did he do research? Oh, somebody wants to repeat the question. Yeah, I doubt Chad did any research. No, Adrian Dantley might have been on that team, but John Shoemate was the stud. I've on never that heard team. of John Shoemate. That's sad that you wouldn't know that. Okay. I'll repeat the question because somebody just asked me to, but the question was, who was the star player when UCLA beat Notre Dame to end UCLA's winning streak for Notre Dame? Who was the star player and what year? We now know the year was 1974. And my brother, which – Chad Comley. Which I'm probably saying is right, says it's Adrian Dantley. He but might have been on that team. He does. I think he was the best player. That's what comes to my mind. Not Schumacher. Shoemate. No, never heard John of sh Shoemate. you got to get it together, <laughs> man. This eight-year-old kid shoe, knew it. Shoemate. Come He's on. probably not even a real guy. He was a real guy. You <laughs> promise. If Chad would do any research <laughs> instead of doing calmly research. All right, Chad, look up Shoemate and see if he actually is, is this. What position was he, a center? He's a guard. Adrian Dantley, what was he, a forward? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Will we have a running clock here? Or will they wait till the fourth quarter? Are we up by 35? Are we up by 30? I think it'd be 35, isn't it? Or is it 30? I think it's 30. I don't think you're, you're thinking run. football. I don't think you run until the fourth. You haven't been here this year, no. so you would. <laughs> you're still on football. Chad looked it up. So he's. That's the fact. It was Adrian Dantley. But you asked him if John Shoemate was on. I that have team. asked him. He's obviously listening to us, or he wouldn't have That's chimed in. Chad, you need to figure out if there's a guy named John Shoemate on that team. Nice rebound by Elizabeth Showalter as Herman comes up with the initial rebound, and uh, they got three baskets or three attempts up on the glass. Where's Keith Patterson not watching our games? He used to chime in on these questions. Yeah, but he wouldn't know anything about Notre Dame. He wouldn't know anything about basketball? He knows about, oh, no, he knows basketball. He just knows. Well, he knows UCLA was a good team. Yeah, but he knows Northwest Kansas. That's what he, you're thinking what about our Joaquini game last year when he chimed in. Yeah. Hmm. 
Benny with the left. No good. Rebound by Ali Seltman. Herman gives it up to Showalter. Showalter miss. Riley Richter with the rebound. Riley handles it, gets it to Callie. Callie tries to slip it to Benny. Benny will get it. Callie from three, no good. Shoot gets again. Gets her own rebound. No good. Lacey with the rebound, and she'll be fouled. Chad says shipmate was the post player with Dantley. Shipmate. Shoemate. Well, that's not what he says. It says shipmate. Well, the, the one that came in says shoe. Second one. Was I not right? He was 6'9". I didn't realize that at the time, but played with the Phoenix Suns. And He'd be a guard the now. Buffalo Braves. Guard in the NBA at 6'9". Yes. <laughs> Lacey misses both. I was very excited that night for that game. The better game was when North Carolina State in 1975 beat uh, UCLA in the semifinal. Why was that a better game? Well, David Thompson of North Carolina State defeated him. And I remember there, there was a... It's a nice possession there. Golly, Man, that's something. There was a jump ball back then, a tie ball, and David Thompson, who was 6'4 at the time, out jumped, long old arms, out jumped uh, Bill Walton on that, and I remember that. Because uh, they didn't have alternating possession back then? Right. And he was Michael Jordan before Michael Jordan. David Thompson was pretty athletic. Yes, he was. Didn't he have really long arms? I don't remember that. I just remember the dude could jump. He could jump. Herman with another did rebound. Did they have a three-point line back then? No. When did that come into play? Not till well, in the middle 80s. Middle by 80s? 1986, I believe, was the first year they actually played the NCAA tournament with the. 1986. Boy, basketball sure has gone downhill since we had You're that. not kidding. And now they want to put a, time, a shot clock in high school basketball. There's a real push to do that. Five ten left, starting leads forty six to eighteen. Yeah, what do you think of a shot clock in high school basketball? Why do we want to screw up high school basketball? It's beautiful the way it is. I don't understand that either. I, uh, to me, all you're going to do is have coaches coach more. There'll be less possessions in thirty five seconds because most of the possessions don't last thirty or thirty five. I would agree. Most of them don't last that long. And I've always wanted to shoot it before then anyways because you're just going to turn it over. Yes, I agree with you. I just, I, a lot of states are using, I know a Nebraska tournament over the break, they experimented with it, but a lot of people want it, and I think I'm in the minority maybe that doesn't. But to me, you'll just have coaches coaching more. Well, that's what they're paid to do. They get paid a lot well, in high school. A, <laughs> you'll see a lot more sets and controlling the ball versus what you really want to have happen. Callie's getting it going now. She knocks down her second. Nice basket by Herman. She's a nice player. Whoop, there went the wreck. There was, I don't, have the, I don't have the wreck meter Well, you haven't seen one yet, but uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of, I would do wish they'd move the three-point line back. I know I'm rare in that, but push it back to maybe international. In high school? Yeah. Why, right, everybody quit shooting them then. Exactly. Get a mid-range game, and if you'd actually earn the three-point Back in 1990s when I was actually coaching girls basketball, I remember we shot probably 12 the whole year. <laughs> 12 threes? Yeah. Why'd you shoot only 12? You couldn't make them. <laughs> People, well, yeah, one. Couldn't, some of the girls couldn't get it there, and it was just a different different thing. Now they shoot more than 12, in the, sometimes in a half. 
quarter. It's so much more exciting with them shooting. I know. We'll have to disagree. I like the shooting. I'm not suggesting that. Hit. Our text must be way behind our comics. Because now he's sending me Shoemate with about four <laughs> yes, he <laughs> said, marks. read the whole thing. <laughs> 51 21. Let it go, girl. You like Bill Walton as commentator? Well, Callie is going off. You know, um, you are my version of him. You. Uh, I know we look alike, a lot alike. <laughs> well, I would say you don't make any references to illegal substances ever, but you are just as distracting. Here come the Schneider gang. Yep, the whole gang. Head coach Brent Schneider of football. For long, the Schneider basketball head coach will be here. Starting to get a little sleepy. Did you take a nap at 3.30? I did take a nap at 4 o'clock. I was feeling gassed. Good. I had about a 20-minute nap, which was good. I got no nap because I was getting my passport. Took I, my picture with this shirt zipped up, and then she made me take it off. Why? I don't know. And then when the picture came, it had this back on it. <laughs> she was trying to improve your look in the sun. That could be improved. I, uh... Yeah. Man, you ever been in that post office at Hutch? Yes. It was a long line. And I, I took up was. 20 minutes of the line. Ooh. I felt bad. So they were hating But I had you. an appointment. Well, that's all that matters. But they didn't know that. All the people with the sure. ad looks when I was leaving, they didn't know I had a, a scheduled appointment with the lady. So when you have to politely say, um, of course, they didn't care if you had an appointment or not. You were just taking up their time. Sadie Bigley with her first foul, second team. You would think they'd get more people to work in there if they had that long a line, but it's probably not that way all day just when I showed up. Into the afternoon, you know. Into the day, yeah, that would be the in and out from Megan Jacobs. Faith Eckert will check in. Lacey Farney. We're deep with talent. Kind of deep. Yeah, this is a nice group. Now you have seven, seven seniors. And then two juniors, but Bella hasn't. This is her first game to suit up. She's been hurt, Bella Brownlee. What's wrong with her? Leg. From cross country still? I think still? so. Yeah. Nice pass, Lacey. Uh, Faith, too many ball fakes. Faith will have it blocked. And then a couple sophomores. And Faith ends up with a steal, hands it off to Lacey. Man, no nice. Dribble. Lacey's nice had play. two really good layups. Yes. Right? 152 left here in the third quarter. <clears throat> Faith uh -oh. with another Dunk one. Dunk it. That girl. Katie started today. Had earned your, in service on her first your, day. Your daughter's student teaching where? Well, she's in the middle of the city of Salina. At an elementary school. She's. Where am I going with my passport? I have no idea. Teaching choir. Yeah, we don't understand. 
I'm you just getting it to, in case I want to go somewhere. You don't have to have one to go into Missouri or Oklahoma. I, I'm, I'm going to go somewhere. I don't know why you would get that. And I can't go anywhere till I get it, so I'm getting it. Oh, you're not going anywhere. I'm going to go somewhere. Your wife is going someplace. You're with me. No. Yes, I'm going. No, you're not. She's had lots of fun without you on her last trips. And I'm going with her from now on. Wherever the road shall lead me. <laughs> She's probably not going to go. <laughs> 60 to 23 is Kate Rowland. Gets that to roll in there. Yeah. The people want to know. David Wilson says the people want to know where I'm going, but I can't tell you because I don't know. David, he thinks he needs a passport to get into Arkansas or Nebraska. He doesn't realize that's for out of the country. You don't want to go anywhere. So where would you? Where would she be taking you? You're not going on a cruise. That's would, not going to happen. I'm definitely going on a cruise sometime. Well, not this year. That's not going to happen. Probably not during COVID. Get out there and the ship would be stuck at sea. I think you should go to Greenland. I think that would be a good place for right, you. That sounds nice. What's, what's it famous <laughs> for? Ice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I already live in ice. Yes. <laughs> you, you should go to. That was a long period. That was a long period. Sterling led 41 to 15 at half. Isn't Iceland made of ice? <laughs> nope, just the opposite. Really? Uh -huh. Why do they call them that? <laughs> well, there's a good story. You should look that up. Mr. Wilson's a historian. He could probably provide some insight into that. Seriously, Iceland is green, mm -hmm. and Greenland is ice. Mm -hmm. You you're don't believe that? Me. Up, I don't believe you. I think, I think you you're should. trying to make me look stupid on the air. Well, if I'm if I'm wrong, then I really look stupid. Well, the band is bringing a little noise, it's, bringing the thump. <laughs> it's going a little slow. <laughs> Well, we're all in a little coma coming off yeah, the break. we are. We're on sugar lows. <laughs> I did eat a little more than I normally do. Well, what was your best eating? My wife makes some good sugar cookies, and I just okay. could not stay away from them. Once I really you, tried. Once you get going on them? Yeah, I, I actually did pretty good. Come on, Junior. How are you at? We're going to need to do some practicing. We're going to have to have a practice session. It's not good. Can't do better than that. We just need not to do it. Seems like the game ought to be over. Well, it will be in seven minutes and 30 seconds as the clock will run here. Do we have to wait to start the boys' game, or can you just start it I ahead of schedule? I think they'll start it ahead of schedule. Okay. We cut Faith. Herman with the rebound. She's had a nice game. Done a little everything. Should I have another question of the girls' game since we got a – what is the average temperature of Greenland? What do you think it would be? I have no idea. Well, you just said it's full of ice. It's got to be is. below freezing. It is. Lacey with the finish. That's her third great left hand layup. Well, that was good. Look what's in my pocket. I just now felt it. A Dos Amigos gift card. Yes, somebody gave me that for Christmas. Wow. You should teach elementary. No. <laughs> no. It's not worth that. <laughs> the gifts rain in on the elementary teachers. The Even question the is, did you use it? I just got it today. Oh, you just, I see. I didn't understand. I think understand. it was probably sitting there before. I didn't notice it because I don't come back to that building. I know? didn't understand. A 
Avery Linden will save that. Are Lacrosse and Lincoln in the same conference? No. I don't believe so. I, I'll be honest, I haven't. I don't know my. I was thinking Lacrosse might be in the CPL, but I may be totally wrong about that too. Well, let's ask Lacrosse people. What conference are you guys in? Think they remember my number? 620-204-0077. What conference nice are you pass in? From who, are, who is your rival team? Otis Bison? Could be Nest City, Otis Bison. Could be Otis Bison. Last time we were at lacrosse for football, we, we froze to death. One of the colder games I've done. It was. There was snow on the ground. And there were some big bodies in that game for it us. It was. We didn't do too very, very good. It was well, a long we, night. We hung in that game for a long time and just couldn't. They were couldn't. faster than lightning. Yeah, they were. What year was that? The year before, they were really good. Well, they were pretty good the year when we went out there. 2014, I believe. If I had to do that again, I'd bring a space heater to when I come. <laughs> we might have overloaded the circuits. I don't care. Man, that was cold. There's ice on the field. Remember that? Yeah, there was snow and ice, and it snowed there. And These refs never age. They look the same for 20 years in a row. Well, Mr. Goodhart, he's, he's getting up there. He looks the same. He's from... Uh, He's an Otis Bison guy. Here comes your Greenland. Oh, my gosh. You're right. During the winter, the temperature can plunge to minus 50. Minus 58 Fahrenheit. See, that's why I want you to go While to While in the summer, it reaches a high of 13 to 14 Celsius or 55. See, I Fahrenheit. told you. The average daily temperature exceeds freezing only in July and August. Well, in June, it is around zero. We are in the Arctic climate region where it can snow even in summer. I'm not going to Greenland. <laughs> I wish I had booked your trip. What would I see there? Penguins? <laughs> Ice. Does anybody live there? Yeah. What do they live there for? <laughs> That's what they say about Kansas, why did they live here? Because that's where we live. No, no one says that about Kansas. Riley Richter with the foul. I believe that'll be her second. First foul. 2.48 as the clock continues to run, and the stupidity reigns. Riley going to pick up another one here. Herman pushes her way through, can't get it to go. Why does the name Katie Herman keep coming to my mind? Is she a teacher? Katie works at Lions. Yeah, what's special she services. Okay. That's why I keep thinking every time you say that. Shoot a girl. Man, snows even in the summer. Did you notice who's on the bench of uh, lacrosse? The assistant coach down there? Nope. Lori Dirksen. I knew she I didn't know she was coaching basketball. Gabe yeah. used to coach it, didn't Gabe he? Gabe did. Coach the girls? Now she is. What's Gabe doing? He may be taking care of the kids, possibly kids. Where is he? He may not be here. He's not even here? Well, it is a Tuesday night. And they're little ones. Gabe, where are you? <clears throat> Think he's watching this or do they got their own feed? No, I bet he might be watching. Gabe, give us a shout out. One twenty three left. More on Iceland. <coughs> Ella Showalter into the game. Finish up the last minute. The weather in Reykjavik. Is that a Reykjavik. town? Reykjavik. Is that how Reykjavik, you say it? yes. How do you know all this stuff? <laughs> Average is around Bella with a nice move to score. Thirty three to thirty five Fahrenheit. Be a timeout to get subs into the game. In the wintertime and about 54 Fahrenheit in the summer. 
In the winter, the temperatures in Reykjavik can drop as low as 14 Fahrenheit. Well, that's nothing. 14 here. It <laughs> raises as high as 50. That's what it is here. In the summer, it can drop as low as 44, and the rise as high as 77. See? What is that? Is that Iceland? That's the Iceland average. I going to say, we have two different things going on. Reykjavik is in Iceland. Yes. Why don't you tell me that when at first I said it? You said it. Well, I thought it was still Greenland, but that's Iceland. It's much nicer in Iceland. Yes. That's why I want to send you to Greenland. Well, I'm not going to Greenland. I've decided that. And the stupidity will end here shortly. <laughs> as seven seconds left, as Sterling will win their seventh in a row. And they're on the season, and uh, they will win 67 to 26. The boys' game should start approximately 20 minutes from now. 10 minutes early. Better and get down uh, here if you're coming to the boys' game, Chad. Yeah, don't be like the shark and show up late. There's no parking on the, on the backside, I'll tell you that much. That's why you got to get here early. Now, thank you for watching as, uh, and for enduring this. And we'll be back here. I'm going to stop this one, and we'll start the, the boys' broadcast immediately. You're watching Black yep. Bear Broadcast. Vic is in Iceland. Yes. Hopefully this conversation will be ended. Here, let's interview Brent for a while. Well, let me switch over here. <laughs>